In Sweden, the renowned hockey goalkeeper Henke Lundqvist is equally as famous for being a shampoo ambassador. For five years, he has been the proud face and hair of head and shoulders. Last year, we decided to make things interesting. We made it hard for Henke by creating a campaign in which his hockey-playing twin brother Ewell tried to take his place as the head and shoulders ambassador. Ewell, come on. What are you doing? What are you Head and shoulders, that's my thing. Without a doubt, Sweden was interested to see how Henke was going to tackle this ambassador usurper. The film trended on YouTube and Google, and conspiracy theories and praise came from all over social media, including Team Sweden's coach, hockey players, Head and shoulders. Yes. <laughs> and entertainment shows. <laughs> to make things even more personal, we had Henke send a box of shampoo to UL's hockey team, Frölunda, with a clear declaration of his intention to keep the shampoo crown. And sure enough, when Henke and Ewell later that fall returned on air, Henke had come up with a master plan to take back the shampoo throne. Had you read Manus? It was I who wrote it. You? You need a head role? Yes. You have the role. You do it okay. To cement his position as a leader, Henke collaborated with his own clothing brand and released a limited edition Henke and Head and Shoulders t-shirt. By wearing the ultra black t-shirt, you could prove you joined the ranks of the Dandra Free and show your support for Henke. Needless to say, t-shirts and shampoo bottles were flying off the shelves. And speaking of flying, the campaign generated an earned media reach of 41 million and a record-breaking brand recall. November was the best sales month ever in Sweden, and in total, Head & Shoulders business grew by 33%, strengthening its position as Sweden's most popular shampoo. In the end, the brothers reconciled during the World Hockey Championship, ultimately winning the gold together. And of course, Head & Shoulders congratulated them both with a limited-edition gold bottle.